Good evening. Welcome to Election Night 2020. Tonight, we have Governor Larry Hogan from the state of Maryland versus Dan Malloy, the former Democratic Governor Association Chairman and the former Governor of the state of Connecticut. Let's look at the approval rating for Governor Larry Hogan. As you can see, he does very well in states that Donald Trump carried in the 2016 general election, along with his home state of the state of Maryland, whereas Dan Malloy is doing presumably worse across the rest of the country, however, still doing well on the West Coast and parts of the Northeast. It is now time for the 7 p.m. poll closings. Out of the state of South Carolina, Larry Hogan will carry their nine electoral votes. Out of the state of Kentucky, eight electoral votes will go to Governor Larry Hogan. Out of the state of Indiana, the incumbent Vice President Mike Pence's home state, 11 electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. He will also carry Georgia's 16 electoral votes in a decisive victory. Out of the state of Vermont, Dan Mallow, as expected, will carry their three electoral votes. In the state of Virginia, a state that Clinton carried in 2016, 13 electoral votes at stake are too close to call. And on the current electoral map, Governor Larry Hogan has 44 electoral votes, to Dan Malloy's three. It is now 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We can now make a projection from one state. Out of the state of West Virginia, Larry Hogan will carry their five electoral votes, whereas in the state of Ohio, a state that Trump carried by almost double digits in 2016 is too close to call. Out of the state of North Carolina, 15 electoral votes are also too close to call. And on the current electoral map, Larry Hogan maintains his lead with 49 electoral votes to Dan Malloy's three. It is now 8 p.m. Eastern Time and standby for the biggest batch of poll closings. Out of the state of Oklahoma, their seven electoral votes will go to Governor Hogan. No surprise, out of the state of Alabama, nine electoral votes. The Democrats thought they had a mild chance here. Not the case. Larry Hogan, the projected winner. Out of the state of Mississippi, six electoral votes will go to Governor Hogan. Now out of the state of Tennessee, 11 electoral votes. Larry Hogan, the projected winner. Out of the state of Missouri, 10 electoral votes. Larry Hogan will carry them. And out of the state of Maryland, Larry Hogan has done not what anyone else has done tonight, which is flip a blue state from 2016. A solid Democratic state and the most Democratic state in the Union will now go for a Republican. He will carry their 10 electoral votes. Out of the state of Illinois, Dan Malley will carry their 20 electoral votes. Out of the state of Delaware, three electoral votes will land in the Malloy column. Out of the state of Rhode Island, as expected, four electoral votes will go to Dan Malloy. Out of the state of New Jersey, 14 electoral votes, Dan Malloy, the projected winner. Out of the District of Columbia, the most liberal part of the United States, three electoral votes will go to Dan Malloy. Now, out of the state of New Hampshire, four electoral votes are too close to call. Out of the state of Connecticut, Dan Malloy's home state where his approval rating is in the low 20s, seven electoral votes are too close to call. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, 20 electoral votes, Larry Hogan is in the lead, yet is still too close to call. Out of the state of Massachusetts, 11 electoral votes. Remember Charlie Baker doing a last minute push for Governor Larry Hogan in the state, too close to call. Out of the state of Maine, all four of their electoral votes are currently too close to call. And out of the state of Florida, the most hotly contested swing state of this election season, 29 electoral votes at stake, too close to call. And on the current electoral map, Governor Hogan has 102 electoral votes, breaking the 100 barrier, while Dan Malloy has 47. It is now 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We can now make a call from the state of Arkansas. The state of Arkansas will go to Larry Hogan, a decisive victory, six electoral votes. And on the current electoral map, Larry Hogan has 108 electoral votes to Dan Malloy's 47. It is now 9 p.m. Eastern Time and standby for another huge batch of poll closings. Out of the state of Wyoming, Larry Hogan will carry the three electoral votes. Out of the state of Texas, a very big prize, the second biggest prize in the union, 38 electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. Out of the state of Arizona, 11 electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. Now to the state of Kansas, we are now hitting the red wall. Red wall, six electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. Out of the state of Nebraska, all five of their electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. Larry Hogan will also carry the state of North Dakota and their three electoral votes. Along with that, he will also carry South Dakota's three electoral votes. And out of the state of Louisiana, eight electoral votes will go to the governor. And out of the state of New York, 29 electoral votes will go to Dan Malloy. Out of the state of Wisconsin, it is too close to call. 10 electoral votes at stake. Out of the state of Michigan, another Trump state that is too close to call. 16 electoral votes at stake. Out of the state of Minnesota, 10 electoral votes. A state that Hillary Clinton narrowly won in 2016 is too close to call. Out of the state of New Mexico, 5 electoral votes are currently too close to call. Out of the state of Colorado, 9 electoral votes too close to call. And on the current electoral map, Governor Larry Hogan has 185 electoral votes to Dan Malloy's 76. It is now 10 p.m. Eastern Time to stand by for a couple projections. Out of the state of Iowa, Larry Hogan will carry their six electoral votes. 
Out of the state of Montana, no surprise here, Larry Hogan, the projected winner. Out of the state of Utah, six electoral votes, Larry Hogan, the projected winner. Now in the state of Virginia, 13 electoral votes, another flip from 2016, a state that Clinton won by around 5%, will now go to the Republican column. Another call from the state of North Carolina, 15 electoral votes, add to Larry Hogan's column. Another state out of the state of Ohio, remember no Republican has won the White House without the state of Ohio, 18 electoral votes, will go to the GOP again. And out of the state of New Hampshire, a very flip, big flip from 2016. Four electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. Now in the state of Nevada, it is too close to call. A state Clinton edged out Trump in in 2016. And on the current electoral map, Larry Hogan is now 20 electoral votes away from being elected president at 250 electoral votes to Dan Malloy's 76. It is now 11 p.m. Eastern Time and standby for projections from all the states in yellow. Out of the state of California, Dan Malloy will carry their 55 electoral votes, the biggest prize in the union. Out of the state of Washington, 12 electoral votes will go to Dan Malloy, as expected. Out of the state of Hawaii, 4 electoral votes, Dan Malloy, the projected winner. Now out of the state of Oregon, 7 electoral votes will go to Dan Malloy. Out of the state of Maine, 1 out of the 4 electoral votes will go to Dan Malloy. And out of the state of Idaho, 4 electoral votes will go to Governor Larry Hogan. Out of the state of Connecticut, a huge flip from 2016, Dan Malloy's home state, a net gain of around 16% for the GOP, Larry Hogan the projected winner. Now to the state of Maine, three out of their four electoral votes will go to Governor Larry Hogan. And on the current electoral map, Governor Hogan has 264 electoral votes to Dan Malloy's 155. It is now 12.43 a.m. Eastern Time with standby for state calls from the states of Wisconsin, Michigan, Florida, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts. Out of the state of Massachusetts, remember Charlie Baker was doing a last minute push here. Governor Larry Hogan, the projected winner, another huge flip, the second most Democratic state in the union, now going to a GOP candidate for the first time in years. Out of the state of Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes as expected will go to Governor Larry Hogan. No big surprise out of the state of Michigan was trending a little more Democratic, yet Larry Hogan will carry their 16 electoral votes. Out of the state of Florida, the Sunshine State, 29 electoral votes, Larry Hogan, the projected winner. And out of the state of Pennsylvania, 20 electoral votes will go to Larry Hogan. And as you can assume from all these calls, Larry Hogan surpassed the 270 needed to win, which means Larry Hogan will go on to be the 46th President of the United States of America. He will retain this White House for the GOP. As you can see on our current electoral map, Larry Hogan now has 350 electoral votes, while Dan Malloy's path to 270 has been cut off, for he is at 155 electoral votes. It is now 1 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and standby for a call from the state of Alaska. Out of the state of Alaska, Larry Hogan will carry their three electoral votes. And out of the state of Colorado, nine electoral votes. Larry Hogan, the projected winner, another flip from 2016. And I am now getting information that we are making a call out of the state of Nevada. Six electoral votes, another flip. And if I'm not mistaken, another state, the state of New Mexico, five electoral votes will go to the GOP. And out of the state of Minnesota, another flip, but as expected, will go to Governor Larry Hogan. And on the final electoral map, Governor Hogan has 383 electoral votes, decisively beating Dan Malloy with his 155 electoral votes. Thank you guys for watching this video, and don't forget to check out the mock election community below. Here you can run for representative, senator, president, or even have your own news organization, or do whatever you want in the community. It's a whole lot of fun. Don't forget to check out the link below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all tomorrow.